All right. Thanks for joining me again. I, <laughs> I, I don't know what happened on the last one. I did this, but it didn't save. So I recorded this whole thing, talked through it, went over everything, and then find out it didn't save. So let's hope this one saves. Um, we left off right here. And I had just put a layer and multiply on. And that's to sort of blend both the background and the foreground model together. So you're kind of using that just to kind of give them all the same tone and pull them into the same environment. The, the first thing I want to talk about is the light source in the photo. If you look at this photo, you can see here's some shadow, you know, shadows here, shadows here, and it's bright, it's bright right there, it's bright right here. So what you're looking at is their light source is probably up in here, coming like that. That's where it's naturally lit from. Now, in a perfect world, if I was setting up the photo, and only because I know this, I would have put the light source down here pointing up because I would know I'm lighting the barrel and I want to put the lighting coming off of that barrel. So this is your, your what I want to do here is put this muzzle flash. So I know I'm going to have this firing and a lot of times what I like to do is just, hey, you know this gun is going to be firing so put that light source in. And so I put this is a just a normal layer and I use the nebula tool so that's how I got that glow right there you know kind of on like a orangish brown color and that's all I did was that little spot and put it there so it's like okay it grounds my lighting and lets me know hey this is where I gotta start lighting from if you look it's gonna be lit quote unquote wrong because this light source would be pushing here and it would be lighting this up. So you could, you know, if you really, really spent hours and hours, you could go Photoshop and take, you know, I mean, even in Procreate like this and take the shadows out and all that, but we're just gonna kind of cheat it. So what that means is the next thing I did after indicating where this flash was gonna go, I, on this layer, I select the model so you select it so then you're only working in the area that the models outline so like if you look you can see the lines it would a light like this tool only works inside there it doesn't go outside of it <clears throat> then when the selection was made i used an overlay layer if you look the setting is on overlay and you can see I use the same nebula, nebula tool. And I just went and started to indicate where the light would be coming off of that muzzle flash. So you notice here it's all kind of mostly on the left. You know, I put a lot of it because I'm putting light on it to draw it back out of the dark. So you're in the dark here and you're, you're drawing it back out with this layer. It's giving it depth. That's kind of what you're doing with that multiply layer and the overlay layers is you're just building that depth. You wanna, you get the sense of scale and you wanna force that perspective a bit more. So I put all that in with the nebula brush, nebula brush while it was selected because I wanna keep it on there. I don't want it drifting off you know off the model into the sky yet sometimes i do that though then it, sometimes when I, I get that layer and i like the lighting i just leave the layer and i'll almost open a new one and do the exact same thing because maybe like well i like this base layer but let me see how it looks with even more amped up highlights so you can see i put another layer on overlay and i just amped up the highlights even more so we'll look at it without these two. So you put the muzzle flash down, then I lit it once, and then I, re I lit it again. So you're forcing, if you notice where I do it, I'm trying to get, and you'll see, even though this is technically wrong because it's in shadow, that's what I mean. I, I put more light source right on it just to fake your eye out. It doesn't have to be perfect. 
and that gets more depth on on that you know gun on his shoulder all up front and that's what I was doing there then overlay it you, you know it reacts different so you have to use it a lot to play you know to figure it out <clears throat> it almost acts like a, a semi-transparent layer after I did those two I went back in on a normal layer with the light pen tool and started doing that so you can see I was able to get even brighter highlights like I put a lot of highlights in there a little more on his head right here with this you could go back in I'm gonna erase part of it wait where am I whoops Just erasing there to get more in the shadow from that light source. I just happened to see it, so I was like, oh, I'll do that. Um, and you know, you're hitting the spots. It's the same as painting when I did these highlights, same as basically painting a miniature. You're you're putting the edges where that light source would be and you're just lighting it. It's basically like another layer of paint, you're just doing it digitally. <clears throat> so you can see that gives it a lot more depth than that so we put that on put that on another overlay layer I went and highlighted a bit more and then I took another overlay layer and same thing using the nebula on the when I'm doing thin edge highlights I use that light pen a lot and sometimes the light brush but the pen is this one it gives you that um that so you can kind of see what a light pen is and then <clears throat> on these highlight layers I use the select tool and I kept the overlay on the model but when you have like a muzzle flash or something especially when it's all dusty like this the the particles in the air are going to reflect light so you're going to have almost like a glow or a haze around so what i did is i did another overlay layer and i kind of brightened up see it on the ground gets a little lighter a little in the sky gets a little lighter so what i'm doing there is i'm putting that same light source but putting it onto the ground putting it you know more into the scene and so again that you're you are sorry i'm just adding a little bit of like kind of shadow in there even though it's semi wrong you don't have to be like totally accurate but it you know the more accurate are you are the obviously more it helps so that is your lighting and it's not the more you you use it the more you kind of like just pick your light source have it pre-planned if you were if you knew you were going to do a paint over and you had your own model and you you get a chance to light that model so you could literally light it from the side with this barrel you know you could have put your own light in here and have it pointing this way so that when you go and um, use procreate on this then you're feeding into the light instead of half fighting it and that's um that's basically my first step in the lighting process you know trying to light it bring back that depth and make it more into the scene so we can see what that looks like we had this we put the multiply layer on i used a normal layer and put a you know muzzle flash just to kind of see then i used the overlay layer with the nebula tool it, and i'm gonna down i gotta get more i'm gonna there's a lot more glow brushes i gotta do use a bunch of different glows and get some more to try some things out then another overlay layer where I highlighted more after that and a lot of these you'll see me just add layers because I'm looking at it sometimes it sits I'm like well let me try this but I like what I have but I don't want to end up redoing it or losing it so I just open up another layer I then even though this one's stacked below it I know I did this one after I put the extra highlights in that that muzzle flash has to change I'm gonna have one barrel firing because technically on a Gatling gun, only the one barrel fires, even though I put in a lot 
you know multiple flashes in there just because I think it looks cool um, and then I put another overlay with some lighting on the ground and not constrained to just the model and what what I would be seeing here too is I would get to a point like this and I'd be like okay I got that lighting down in the next one I'm gonna do a little more stuff in the background so the background needs a little depth and I need to I want to pull that into the picture more it seems like he's just it got his back to it and there, there should be like something I don't like to put a lot in the background but you know I like to get it a little the, mostly the depth and the lighting so it pops so there's some nice shadows on this mini so I want to get that blue light back here probably be brighter you know I'm gonna brighten that up behind him a little bit and then you'll see me on the next one I'll put you know some of the smoke and stuff coming off there and sparks and everything like that so thanks for watching this one I'm sorry I deleted it the first time you didn't get to see my brush strokes but I figured I told you all the tools and how I did it nothing special so that you can uh, try it on your own I should have another one of these out next week I this was gonna come out a while ago but when I lost it I kind of lost my lost my thunder to do it and I was like came out all good and then I just didn't have it recorded so thanks for joining me um the live shows I were always on Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and 7 p.m. GMT and then on Sundays I'm gonna be doing one around the same time 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time it should be mostly regular you know mostly every Sunday but you know some I'll end up missing and stuff like that but uh, thanks again for joining and I will see you around <laughs>